Welcome to the Conquer Risk Podcast. My name is Manish Kata. I'm here with Dave Lubnick with Y Charts. Uh, I'm excited for today's podcast because we use Y Charts and we've used them for a couple years. I've been dying to get someone on or at least get on their webinar to explain how we use Y Charts. I think it's valuable for a lot of advisors to understand not just the technology pitch, but how people are actually utilizing it on a day to day basis. So I asked Dave to come on and sort of talk about Y Charts at a high level and then dive into sort of how advisors are utilizing it. And I'd love to also share how we use it. And I think it's going to be value for our audience to, to take a look at this software. Uh, hopefully we can hit them up for some discounts when this is done, but we'll see what kind of reach we get first. Uh, so Dave, jump into sort of what is Y Charts? And, and then let's, let's talk about how you guys are helping advisors. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me, first of all. Yep. So Ycharts is an investment research tool. So we've been around for about 10 years, headquartered in Chicago, office in New York as well. We are focused on a couple different efforts. One is enabling advisors to make smarter investment decisions and also help with their communication to their prospects and clients. So along those lines, we are a website that is easy to use, easy to access, 21st century, provides them with a lot of powerful data uh, from a lot of different sources, Morningstar, indes, indices, economic data, and so forth. I want to stop you. I think yeah. that's important. So a lot of it comes from Morningstar, but you guys will also go out to places like Fred and get economic data right. and things that don't come strictly from Morningstar. That's right. right. Over 300,000 economic indicators okay. pulled from all the various publicly available government sites, not just in the U.S., but around the world. Okay. So we really try to package everything together that an advisor might need in their conversations, whether it's at the macro level, all the way down to individual security. Okay. And so how, let's say, let's use hypotheticals here. You got a $50 million advisor, he buys funds and ETFs for his clients. What, what's the one to two things from Y charts that he's gonna benefit the most from? Yeah, I think first and foremost, it's security selection. Okay. It's understanding what securities do you want to put into that portfolio, whether it's five million or five billion. So for that, we have a screening tool. Okay. That starts with the full universe of securities and whether you're doing stocks or ETFs or mutual funds, doesn't matter, we have all of those. And you set your criteria, what you want to narrow the universe down to and get a manageable list of possible candidates. I'll, that's huge because from my experience, you know, one of the things that YCharts does that the other software couldn't, for example, custodian-wise, mm -hmm. right? You'll be surprised how many pieces of software will give you all the funds available. Then you have to dive through and say, all right, what share classes do I want? Is it yep. available, my custodian? And one of the things that's powerful for us is the filtering, yep. right? Being able to get a manageable list. Yeah. And so talk about some of the criteria and, and how you can dive down on the filter list. Yeah, the filters are great. It could be qualitative or quantitative. So on the qualitative side, it could be by share class. Uh, maybe you know you want to stick to a particular custodial platform. Uh, maybe you want to st uh, stick with a particular fund manager, such as John Hancock or somebody else. So you have that ability. But then on the quantitative side, every Morningstar metric that's out there, you have the ability to filter down on. And then best of all, you can actually create a ranking system at the end. So hopefully this is something you guys are taking advantage of. You can choose your metrics, weight them, and then stack rank those results. Yeah, so we do. So it's, a, it's sort of a custom filter or whatever you want to call it, the score range. Yep. So we'll, we'll create a score based on you know, alpha or drawdown or whatever it may be um, to rank the different positions you know, based on the time period we want. Yep. And so that's something I think that, that is unique to YCharts as well, is to take that filter and then drive it down even further with a score. Definitely, these are really only tools that are available to advisors at wires or with really large AUMs yep. that might be able to afford those institutional level tools that cost 15, 20,000 and up, mm -hmm. which by the way are really hard to understand how to use in the mm -hmm. first place. Um, so that's one reason why we've had success with a lot of advisors such as yourselves that have been able to leverage the product. The other thing that, that I want to talk about is the, the model portfolio. Yep. Um, I wish you guys add SMAs at some point. I know I've been banging it's coming. on Rushi's head coming. to add Soon. SMAs. But so right now, someone can put together a group of funds and ETFs and sort of create this dashboard and reporting. You want to touch on that? Yeah, absolutely. It's a new feature we rolled out about a year ago, constantly enhancing the, the overall tool as well as the portfolios feature in particular. Because we realize that not everybody is just piecing together individual securities and now more than ever people want to look at it from a portfolio perspective. So with those portfolios, you can load in securities, weights, choose a rebalancing frequency, 
and then compare that against a benchmark, compare it against another portfolio, and look at the entire portfolio on that weighted perspective across any of those metrics you want, whether it's performance, risk, allocations, holdings, and so forth. And then you can even generate reports out of there that are completely customized, logo, colors, what you want to see, as well as disclosures. Yeah, and we, we use that to a certain point, but we obviously need the SMA side of it, which I know you guys are working on. One of the things that we use a lot is the, the Excel API, the, yeah. the plugin, yep. right? And because a lot of data you know, that you guys have on the system, maybe there's not a built-in functionality to do anything on the site, but you let people sort of take that data to Excel and play with it there. That's right. Um, I know, and that's kind of the, the genesis of White Choice, right? That's sort of how you guys got started with that, yeah. with that side of it. How do people, how are advisors using that plugin? Yeah, that's right. So that Excel add-in has been in place for seven years, okay. back to when we were only with when we only had stocks. Yeah. Um, so with evolution and adding other asset classes and adding additional functionality, the Excel add-in has kind of been the constant. It's available for somebody who really wants to dig in. So you talked about the portfolios mm -hmm. within the website. That is great, but there are the occasional there's the occasional advisor out there that really wants to customize the output, what they want their report to look like at the end of the day. Maybe they want to customize the benchmarks, the yeah. risk calc the, the risk characteristics and calculations. When you get to Excel, the world is their oyster. Yeah. They can make any adjustments, any calculations they want. And, it, and we're using that for our fact sheets. So we have our fact sheets that, that uh, Christopher will design, but the back end in terms of calculating all the statistics are done in Excel using Y charts. Yep. And the customizable features. So you guys have worked with us to customize these Excel sheets for us. And I know included in Y charts is a you know a certain amount of customizable you know functions that you guys would do. Um, we far exceeded it, even though you haven't came yeah. back to us. But uh, um, I think that's important. Like you guys will customize for folks certain templates that they use, right? It is, yeah. And we feel that a tool is only as good as the support. So it's great to have somebody as a new client, but it's more important to make sure they're using the tool, make sure they're happy, and, and make sure they right. I mean, you want these guys to renew, absolutely, right? I mean, absolutely. Told they got to use the yeah. The software. So every every client has a dedicated account manager. They also have access to our dedicated Excel modeling team yeah. for some of that Excel functionality yeah. you talked about. They have access to all the future enhancements chat. that are coming out. The chat's cool the too. The chat, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's really helpful. Yep. All right, so what is, what's on the horizon for 2020? SMAs, I hope, but what else is on the horizon? Yeah, so I like to think of enhancements in both the data and the tools buckets. In okay. the data bucket, I'd put SMAs, I'd put uh, potentially some other asset classes, uh, constantly adding more indices to okay. the tool. Um, from a functionality perspective, the model portfolios is constantly seeing enhancements every couple uh, weeks. There's new so you're features build there. That out. That's, important That's right. For 2020. A new a new feature was drift, for example, okay. identifying how much drift has occurred in a portfolio. Okay. But then we've also taken a step back to look at the user experience. As we've added more functionality to Y charts, while we while we like to think that it's an easy to use tool. The fact of the matter is that there's more and more in there. So one of our, our big points of emphasis right now is around workflows. So knowing that when somebody is looking at a ETF or a mutual fund, what are the five or six most popular steps that they might want to take from there? And giving them a button that they just have to click to then build that comparison chart to a benchmark, okay. for example, yeah. or pull it into the screener to look at that security against similar securities within the Morningstar category. So if they're doing repetitive tasks, just help them work yes. that out. We call it quick flows because okay. the idea is for those popular repetitive tasks to automate them so that everybody has that easy access to that next piece of functionality in Wide Charts. I got you. Okay. Do you guys do demos, trials? You want to talk about any of that? All of the above. Anybody can go to widecharts.com and sign up for a seven day free trial. Uh, we will walk you through that process. We'll do a WebEx demo with you check in during the trial. We want to make sure that we're there for you as you consider Y charts. Um, as, I, as I mentioned, as a client, you have a dedicated account manager. Okay. Um, and we're happy to offer a discount for listeners, listeners of your podcast as well. Awesome. So this isn't an advertisement. You know, we use Y charts. We wanted them to come on because you know, we are, we're fans of them. And so I think it's important to at least test it out. Uh, hit us up if you want us to show you how we use it. I think it's important. Uh, I'm trying to get on a webinar with Y Charts to kind of dive into how we're using it uh, because there's so many different ways people can approach it. Right. Um, all right. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And uh, good luck with the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thanks, thanks. for having me. Right.